In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to create just a really basic home page for your class website. We're going to make this a splash page, which means that it's basically just a welcome mat for your class. There's not going to be a ton of information on here, though you are welcome to enhance the page with extra tools if you would like to. And you can just kind of look online for tutorials and things on how to do that. So we're just going to go through the process of adding some text and adding a graphic to this page so you can see how some of the basic tools work. When you first set up your site, it defaults to being in edit mode of your website so you could type directly. I've since gone out, so I'm going to need to go back into edit mode. That means I need to click on this little pencil icon up here in the top right area. As you can see, that loads the editor and it looks a lot like just a basic word processing document. So nothing too strange here. You can begin by simply typing Welcome to our wonderful class site. You can center that text. You can bold it. You can change the font. Everything that you can do on a normal uh, word processing document, I mean, as far as basic things go, you can do on this site as well. So you can change the font type, the font size, the style of the font, etc. So that's really, really basic. I'm going to hit enter a couple of times and I'm going to go ahead and stick in a, a graphic. So anytime I want to put something in my site, I'm going to use the insert menu right up here in the top left corner. So I'm going to click insert. And in this case, I'm going to choose image. I just want something really basic here. So I can add one by web address. I generally don't do that because if that web address changes, then my picture is broken, my site doesn't look right. So I really want to use images that I have stored on my computer. So I'm going to choose a file. And I might choose, for example, um, my Spanish Wordle that I made the other day. And Wordle is a site that you can use to create uh, graphics out of text. Kind of a fun one, so you can play around with that if you would like to. And as you can see, once that graphic appears, I can left justify it, center, right. I can make it small, or the original size, or somewhere in between. Okay. Um, I can also wrap text around it. So this is particularly useful. Let's see, if I made this a smaller graphic and I turn on my wrap text, then I can come here to the side of it and type right next to it. Okay, so that's kind of nice um, and we'll play with that some more on the About Me page when we go about making that. I'm going to put this back simply by clicking on it, put that back to its original size, and I'm going to turn off the wrap text because I want the page to just align really nicely here. All right, that's really all you need on the front page. If Again, if you want to add more content, you're welcome to. But for this particular assignment, I'm not going to require it. So I'm going to do a really quick review. I'm going to hit the X to remove this graphic. I'm going to delete this text. I'm not panicking that things are deleting on my page. I'm going to go through it one more time. So I can type my text, I can highlight it and change the style, the font, the size, the alignment, etc. Then I go to insert, choose image, and then I've already uploaded this one so it's here, but if you need to, you go to choose file and upload your file and click OK. When you're all done, save that and you have the home page for your website.